Ladies and gentlemen, good day and welcome to Atom Wilds Limited Q4 FY24 results conference call hosted by Kiran Advisors. As a reminder, all participant lines will be in the listen-only mode and there will be an opportunity for you to ask questions after the presentation concludes. Should you need assistance during the conference call, please signal an operator by pressing star then zero on a touchstone phone. Please note that this conference is being recorded. I now hand the conference over to Mr. Abhishek Yadav from Kiran Advisors. Thank you and over to you, sir. Thank you. On behalf of Kiran Advisors, I welcome you all to SMS Limited Q4 FY24 conference call. From the management side, we have Mr. Amit Jain, Managing Director. Now, I hand over the call to Mr. Amit Jain. Over to you, sir. Thank you, Abhishek. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, this is Amit Jain, Managing Director, Atom Walls Limited. I extend my warm welcome to all investors and the analyst community to our quarter for financial year 24 phone call. Before we delve into the specifics of Q4, FY24, and FY24 performance, allow me to provide a concise overview of our company and its business model to those who are joining for the first time in our phone call. Atom Walls Limited is a leading manufacturer of industrial and plumbing walls. The company produces a diverse range of walls, including gate, globe, check, ball, butterfly, steam traps, boiler mountings, and accessories, and other industrial walls and fittings. Our products are designed to handle service conditions ranging from minus 192 degrees to 550 degrees, and pressure of up to 10,000 psi. Our multi-capability manufacturing infrastructure spread over 500,000 square feet area, and our talent pool of over 500 professionals has strengthened our, as a leading supplier of industrial walls. The company has three specialized foundry shops for non-ferrous, stainless steel, and carbon and alloy steel, each with multiple molding techniques. The company has a wall manufacturing capacity of 96,000 pieces per month across all products categories, and for FY24, our capability utilization was 85%. Over the years, with our product innovation and quality supply, the company has emerged as a trusted partner, partner to numerous industries like oil and gas, refining, petrochemicals, chemicals, pharmaceuticals, marine, mining, water and wastewater, textiles, sugar, and HVAC industries. As mentioned, product innovation is key to success and to expand our offerings, we are currently pursuing the production of large size walls, strategically, strategically aiming to meet the diverse needs of the entire wall industry. With a strong client portfolio of 300 clients, we are meeting the diverse needs of various industrial walls. To name a few of our marquee clients, we are trusted suppliers to Thermex, NTPC, HPCL, VPCL, Indian Oil, Adani, Voltam, Hind Rectifiers, Ganesh, Industrial Suppliers, Universal Mill Store, Raman Sales Corporation, Global Flow Controls, Chima Boilers. Our top 15 clients contributes 80% of sales. We are efficiently meeting the rising requirement of our client with, a, with our strong dealer network of 750 dealers, which we aim to enhance to 1,000 dealers in the coming period. We are equally fo focusing our export business, which contributes a meagre 3% currently. However, having strong strategies to increase the same to 25% in coming years, strengthening our brand in the overseas market. We are actively pursuing opportunities in the U.S. or North American market through strategic partnership and approval for manufacturers. These collaboration underscore our dedication to delivering cutting-edge solutions to our customers. Our international presence is in South Africa, USA, UK, and Indonesia. We intend to increase its presence, our presence in the United Arab Emirates, Saudi Arabia, Tanzania, Kenya, Russia. We actively participate in ex exhibitions in the domestic and international market to understand the emerging trend in the wall market and promote our product to existing and new clients. Currently, revenue and profitability contribution from hospitality exhibitions and even is 20% of sales. To talk about revenue contribution from our business verticals, 
in the boiler segment, which contributes 30% of sales, domestic appliances, 40% of the sales, hydro projects contributes 10% of sales, other projects, other products and projects contributes 20% of sales. Future growth drivers. The global industrial wall market is projected to reach 99.8 billion US dollar by 2028. The growth of the industrial wall market is driven by the rising demand from healthcare and pharmaceutical industries, the establishment of smart cities globally, and the rapid deployment of connected networks to monitor wall condition and predict system failure, providing atom walls with abundant opportunities for growth. Navigating the dynamic landscape, our strategic positioning emphasis on innovation and comprehensive product portfolio ensure that we are well prepared to capitalize on high development prospects in all walls industry segments. The commitment position us to thrive into the evolving automotive landscape, ensuring sustained growth and success of our company. Furthermore, we are executing a forward integration into basket items under the brand Dale with a CAPEX plan of approximately 30 CR, considering the growing demand due to increased housing constructions and evolving consumer presence for stylish basket. We expect humongous growth opportunity in this segment and our strategic decision is expected to contribute significantly to our total revenue in FY2526, contributing to our overall revenue. Way forward, the company got listed on the BSC SME platform in October 2020 and migrated to main board of BSC and NSC in May 2023. With a vision to be a leading player servicing and the the entire wall industry, we are heading to financial year 25, which we, where we see robust contribution from our traditional wall business. We have set a target of 1,000 CR revenue company by 2020, 2032. Financial highlights, I'm sure you had an opportunity to go through our financial performance for Q4, FY24, and FY24. I'll take you through the financial highlights of the company of the reported period. For Q4 FY24, we ended the quarter with satisfying revenues of 17.25 CR, reporting 52 BPS increase in EBITDA margin to 23.323%. Our net profit was reported at 2.68 CR with NPM of 15.55%. Coming to our FY24 performance, we reported 7% growth in revenues to 52.6 CR with EBITDA margin of 18.66%. At PBT level, our profit was at 8 CR and the net profit level at 5.8 CR. Excuse me. Yeah. I must assure that your company is strategically positioned to leverage the rising demand opportunities in the domestic market as well as the, in the international market. With these brief remarks, I take this opportunity to thank all the stakeholders for being an integral part of our growth journey. Your support and involvement have played a crucial role in our success, and we genuinely appreciate your valuable contribution. Now I request to open the floor for questions and answers. Thank you once again for your presence and continued support. Thank you very much. We will now begin the question and answer session. Anyone who wishes to ask a question may press star and one on the touchstone telephone. If you wish to remove yourself from the question queue, you may press star and two. Participants are requested to use handsets while asking a question. Ladies and gentlemen, we will wait for a moment while the question queue assembles. The first question is from the line of Yashwanti from Kojin Finvesh. Please go ahead. Yeah, thank you for the opportunity and good morning to everybody. Sir, just wanted to understand I'm sorry to why... May I request you to use your hand, sir? Your audio is not very clear, ma'am. Uh, am I clear now? Yes, ma'am. Please go ahead. Yeah. Thank you for the opportunity and good morning to everybody. Sir, uh, I wanted to understand what has gone wrong that we, we have seen a dip in our revenue for Q4 FY24 compared to its corresponding unit, which has actually affected the overall FY24 growth. 
revenue. I'm sorry, I couldn't get it. The voice was not clear. <clears throat> so we wanted to understand what has gone wrong where we have seen the dip in the revenue for Q4 FY24 as compared to its corresponding period, which has also affected our overall FY24 revenue. I'm sorry again, I still didn't get it. The voice was not clear at all. Ma'am, may I request you to use your handset, please? It's a handset. It's a handset. Am I clear now? The audio is not very clear, ma'am. Sir, is it clear now? Hello? Yeah, yes, ma'am. Ma please go ahead. Is it clear now? Yes, ma'am. Please go ahead. Yeah, sir, I wanted to understand why we have seen a dip in the revenue in Q4 FY24 as compared to our corresponding period, which has affected our overall revenue growth for FY24. Uh, you have seen the dip. So it was a good quarter in comparison to uh, last three quarters. But we expected more uh, from the Q4 because uh, in the last previous years, we have seen that uh, Q4 has always been, uh, you know, um, multiple folds than other Q uh, quarters. Yeah, uh, because of, you know, MSME norms, some uh, projects were kept on hold because of 45 days payment uh, system which has implemented. So most of the projects were uh, put on hold. That's the only reason because we had orders in hand, but uh, we were told to, you know, not to send and uh, uh, wait for a while. That's the only reason. Otherwise, uh, I believe uh, there is no other uh, major issues. Okay. Sir, in that case, uh, no, should we consider that Q4 is normally a good period for company? Yes, it has always been. Okay. And sir, then whatever that order has been kept on a hold, as you explained due to the MSME norm, so can we expect the same to, uh, uh, same to flow in, in Q1 FY25 and uh, Q1 FY25 is, is expected to be much better as compared to its uh, corresponding period? Yes, we are expecting the same because uh, still uh, they have been put on hold because people are not sure about uh, what uh, MSME conditions will be. But we are hopeful that in this quarter we will uh, be able to achieve uh, better results than other quarters. Yeah. So can you help? Could you please help us to understand what do you uh, actually mean by MSME conditions? So is there is any demand lag for their products? or any any regulation has affected what has gone wrong where we have seen such a hold on on our order book from MSME? The MSME has implemented that uh, you have to pay within 45 days. Uh, so like the credit period in our uh, whole system is about 90 to 120 days. So people are, uh, uh, you know, worried about the, you know, it's, it's kind of uh, uh, tough for them to take care of the funds accordingly. So they want to be sure about uh, certain things. Otherwise, uh, you know, all the unpaid amount will be kept as a uh, profit to them and they have to pay taxes on that. So that's the only reason. Okay. And sir, what has contributed to the dip in our EBITDA margin for FY24? Uh, see, we have, uh, we have been, uh, you know, attending lots of... Uh, exhibition to promote our products and the results are expected from those uh, uh, exhibitions in this year so that's the only reason we have uh, we have been uh, trying to expand and uh, uh, that's that's the only reason uh, you have seen a dip in EBITDA. okay so in that case 18 percent for whole fi 24 and 23 percent for the quarter so what kind of a guidance you would like to give for the fi 25 or as an analyst what we should expect the EBITDA margin to range in this uh for this year yes fi 25 current year uh we'll try to uh, you know maintain the existing one but uh, yeah there will be slight improvement uh, but we cannot, uh, as of now, we cannot comment on the, uh, you know, the exact figures. But definitely we will try to improve on that. 
Yeah, but sir, existing figures is little confusing because when 18 percent is for the full year and the 23 percent is for the quarter. So what we should assume, 23 percent or 18 percent or maybe 20 percent or a 25 percent? No, it will be around uh, 20 to 25 percent. Yeah, in between 20 to 25. The quarter may vary, but the full year you expect to 20 to 25. Am I understanding it correct? Yes. Okay, so thank you so much for uh, for patient answering. I will come back. Pleasure. Pleasure. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Majid Ahmed from SmartSync Investment Advisory Services. Please go ahead. So thanks for the opportunity. I'm audible. Much clear. Uh, so may I request you to use your handset, sir? Your audio is not very clear. So I'm using answer. Am I clear now? Am I clear? Yes, sir. You can go ahead. We'll check, sir. Okay. So my first question is, what's the current update on the Saudi and the US market? Because planning to move to the Saudi and US market. What has been the development so far? That's my first question. Well, we are trying to get into uh, that market to API certification, and uh, uh, in next next two months will be API compliant, and uh, by August or September we'll be having API certification, and that will help us getting into that market of oil and refineries. But as a follow-up question, and QP have mentioned that people will be getting API certification and things will start post. This quarter, what has happened? What has happened here? Ah, I cannot understand the question. Please, can I, your voice is not clear. Then I'm audible. So my follow up. You're audible, but now. it's not clear. Now is it clear? So may I request you to uh, rejoin the queue, sir, with a better connection? Oh, I hope. I hope. I hope now it's clear. Well, as a follow up question, I just ask. So, so what you have mentioned is uh, that uh, this quarter. So you have said that by Q2 you will be making sure that by Q2 I mentioned Q4 everything will be over. The APA certification. What are you going to do? I'm so sorry, I didn't get it. The voice is not at all clear. So your audio is not clear. May I request you to rejoin the queue, please? Thank okay. you, sir. Yes. The next question is from the line of Deepak Saha from DR Choksi Finsa Private Limited. Please go ahead. Hi. Uh, hello. I'm audible. Yes, sir. Please go ahead. Yes. Yeah. Hi, Mr. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, just uh, connecting to the question asked by one of the previous participants. Um, you said that because of the changes in emission norms, uh, there was some lag on the top line, right? So now, when we look at the full year inventory number, so that has gone up quite significantly, nearly from 13 crore to say 21 crore. So just trying to understand. What is that uh, form of inventory? Is it in the form of uh, like finished goods or raw material or something work in progress? If you can share some color, because is it because that you have some finished goods and couldn't sell, which will get you know um, finished uh, in the next quarter, as in when the um, this this cloud around the missing payment structure gets more clear. So if you can share some color on the inventory number. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah. Uh... The inventory for the finished products is almost half of the value that uh, we have uh, we have a stock for. Yes, because all of uh, this order is kept on hold, and uh, we were anticipating uh, some more orders from the market. So that's the only reason we have uh, in good inventory in hand. So you can say that uh, you know finished product is more than about 10 CR in hand. And rest of uh, the product, uh, rest of the value is from uh, work in progress and raw material. Okay, uh, so this out of this 21 crore, you're saying uh, 10 crore? Uh, yeah, more. Yeah, more than 10 crore uh, of uh, worth of material is uh, in 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 the shape okay. of finished product, which we can sell today. Okay. Yeah. Okay, and and uh, when do you expect uh, that particular amount? Like, is it uh, because uh, is it the next quarter we have visibility? We can sell off these uh, inventories or uh, this this finished product. I mean, trying to understand when is the MSME payment uh, issue that you are uh, seeing right now can can resolve. See, it's uh, it's still in the talks with the government, and uh, we are 
hopeful that uh, in first quarter we'll be able to liquidate uh, about 70% uh, of this stock. Okay. The finished okay. stock. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and and uh, the next question, I mean, just make those numbers if you can just really, uh, you know uh, share share those numbers quite a bit again. On the capacity side, you said the your current capacity utilization is eighty five percent, right? Yeah. And uh, can you give the units? I just make those numbers uh, in terms of units. See, our uh, total capacity is ninety six thousand pieces per day. So on a day. By day, yeah. Oh, okay. Five percent. Okay. That's eighty-one, eighty-one thousand six hundred pieces per day. Okay, okay, sir. Uh, and the next question is on the employee benefit expenses that reflected on your financials. Uh, that has also taken kind of thirty you know, percent uh, jump. So there's some color. Uh, like, is it because of a uh, lot of talent uh, or new talent that is here acquired, or is there a because the trend I think is uh, quite sharp. For this particular year, thirty percent jump on your own year basis. So, uh, some some texture on that, sir. Yeah, uh, as I said earlier, that we are trying to you know get into the plumbing, HVAC, and firefighting market. So we have to participate in uh, uh, in all the you know exhibitions that that's been happening. And uh, to expand into the market, we have to have team. We used to have you know three four people in the sales total. Now these days we have 16 people, so that's the reason it has gone up. Uh, you have seen the jump in the employees' uh, condition, and uh, on top of it, we are anticipating that uh, this year uh, it will pay back. Okay, okay, okay. That, that's clear. And uh, in in one of your previous calls, I mean, the, in your uh, earlier remarks, you alluded to the fact that uh, 30 crore capex on bathroom faucets, right? But on the last call that conducted uh, just a month or two ago, uh, you said there were certain you know delays on on on, on the tie-ups you were planning with uh, for this bathroom faucet. I think certain imports were supposed to come, uh, but that did not work out and it got delayed. So what is the situation right now? And and when do we see this bathroom faucet thing you know comes into the picture? Uh, it's still on the cards, but. Uh... It's been delayed, yeah, because uh, we want to get into the API system, and uh, we see that uh, you know that's our own product, and uh, we don't have to depend on the manufacturers. For Basvers, we were uh, thinking of importing it from uh, China, and we had tie up with the two, three uh, manufacturers there. We we are still in talks with them, and uh, you know, but we are concentrating more on API. API range of walls for oil and refinery, and uh, yeah, I I believe that uh, in this year you might see some uh, some of the range uh, coming in bath faucets as well. You mean to say, I mean, for this year you might have capabilities built or direct revenue might flow in for for the faucets, sir? No, we'll, uh, we'll uh, import only. We are not going to you know manufacture in house, yeah. We'll import on. So for so this thirty crore capex, so this thirty crore capex, uh, is it going to be uh, in in what form? I mean that you are highlighting about. See, uh, it was uh, basically required to generate. Uh, you know, uh, we, we need to uh, spend more on the uh, capital investment. You know, with the machinery and uh, stuff like that. But uh, we believe to start with, because we want to have our own brand in the market. To start with, we'll come up with a small range uh, from the Chinese manufacturers only, and we'll try to develop the market here, and then we'll utilize uh, step by step this uh, 30 CR. It's not required as of now, but uh, maybe. Once we are happy with the you know systems and uh, the market trends, then we'll spend on the capital. Okay, so that's not the immediate uh, execution plan that you have. I mean, once you want the yeah, yeah, that's right. so let's say yeah. probably by twenty six would, would would be somewhere we should more look for this number, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. And and uh, on the API side, sir, uh, if you can just uh, confirm on the status. 
because uh, earlier we were talking about the Q1 uh, probably we should get the status uh, i mean the certification for this uh, uh, petrochemical uh, you know uh, license uh, so so what's the status there and by what time we are expecting it to get in and we can actually start delivering uh, on those on those uh, 2 million dollar order that you earlier alluded that that you have uh, you know early stage talks uh, with so what's the status and development there the uh, in q1 will be api compliant because we are already on the job and uh, we have conducted some uh, surveys as well within the company audits as well so will be api compliant then we can start you know supplying api uh, related walls to the clients and by august or september will be api certified and after that you know the numbers will go up as far as sales are concerned for api related work but we will start getting orders as far as as soon as we we become api compliant okay and and if i'm not mistaken uh, i think earlier you said there will be uh, the, there are some talks with certain vendors or certain clients of uh, nearby 2 million dollars right uh, for this yes. only for this api based product yes we are still in talk with them and uh, uh, they are regularly visiting us and okay. they are helping us in getting that api wonderful wonderful I and mean, that's uh, really cheers to the real and and uh, this thing i think api you are basically getting from your canada tie up uh, from one of the uh, you know ties that you have i mean that that root is like that only right and when initially yes. uh, that when that okay 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 Oh, thanks. I mean, that's that's uh, all for mine. Thank you, and all the best for the Thank you. Thank you. Thank you a lot. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Chirag from Yogya Capital. Please go ahead. Hello. Hello. Yes, sir. Maybe the question to use your handset, sir, while asking the questions. Thank you. Yeah. Sure. Uh, now, is it clear? Much better. Yes, sir. Please yeah. go ahead. Okay, uh, sir. Uh, it, we have been doing a wonderful job. Uh, so, it's, uh, congrats on that part. Uh, secondly, my question. Firstly, my question was on our competitors. So, can you give us some light on how, uh, who are our competitors are, and uh, <clears throat> how uh, do they differ, and how we differ uh, compared to them? Yeah. Well. Uh... As far as API related uh, customers or uh, competitors are concerned, we have, uh, you know, uh, Praveen Industries, we have Oswal Industries, we have Hava Walls. They are all big players and having a revenue of 400, 500, 700 CRs company. So they've been uh, associated with API related walls from last more than uh, 10 to 10 to 12 years. And uh, we are uh, relatively new, and uh, we are entering into that market, and uh, that's the only reason we have kept, uh, uh, you know, big numbers for us in another uh, six, seven years. So, uh, because market is there, uh, requirement is there, and we know that we can uh, get into that uh, space. And for the existing product range, if you talk about, you know, plumbing or firefighting, we have the Roto Wall there. They have, they have been uh, in this market from last, I think, uh, 10, 12 years, 20 years. And uh, their revenue is more than 300 CR. We have Strunk Wall, their revenue is about 100 CR for these related uh, walls. So, you know, side by side, we see that uh, growth is there and uh, we can fill that group. Uh, space as well in the plumbing industry. Okay. Understood, understood. Uh, that that was helpful. Uh, sir, also could you highlight uh, whether we plan to secure our export or we provide our credit period or the we do? Uh, sorry, uh, can you repeat that question please? Uh, do we secure our exports that we do with ECGC? Uh, not as of now because uh, mostly our uh, uh, sales in exports are on, uh, you know, uh, advanced basis. We get the payment uh, before uh, we ship the material from here. 
okay okay that's because great because exports, uh, exports are not much as as soon as you know they grow then definitely depending on the customers and uh, other stuff other terms and conditions will definitely uh, involve ecgp as well okay uh, sir understood thanks for that that's helpful and uh, that answers my question and all the best for your future thanks a lot thank you thank you the next question is from the line of gunit singh from counter cyclical pms please go ahead Right, sir. In the last call, you had alluded that uh, we would be achieving about 80 CR uh, revenues in FY24, and we have an order book of around 60 crores. So, but you mentioned that there were some MSME issues. Uh, yeah. Did you not uh, foresee them while uh, uh, conducting? I mean, the previous concord at that time, did you not foresee having such issues? And also uh, the shortfall. Uh, of uh, from 80 about 30 cr shortfall so i mean uh, should we expect this to flow in in q1 see when i when i said 80 cr we were thinking of uh, you know uh, bringing the faucets as well bathroom faucet uh, but uh, that was kept on hold because we considered it on the api range of walls and uh, this msme thing it, it has come up in the late uh, feb so nobody has anticipated that so that was the case happened with us as well so the shortfall that you are talking about is mostly for uh, you know some range of msme that we have a stock for all those finished products as well as you know the bathroom faucet which is not there on the cards as of now yeah we can see uh, you know uh, as i said earlier 70% of the finished stock should be liquidated in the q1 All right. So you mentioned that Q4 would be, uh, I mean, the revenues of Q4 would be as much as combined of Q1, Q2, and Q3. So yeah. I mean, I want to understand the magnitude. So I mean, how, what kind of revenues should we look at in Q1, given that, uh, given the shortfall that we faced in uh, Q4, and uh, by when do you expect this MCME MCME issue to, I mean, uh, be resolved? So even yesterday, uh, our finance minister has uh, has given some comments on the MSME this system, but she has been reluctant that uh, this uh, law will not change. So people have to adjust. So they are still fighting that uh, it's, you know it's kind of tough for all MSMEs to pay in 45 days because because of the system they carry from last so many years. You know it's a payment terms of 90 to 120 days. so they have to you know lower their inventory to cope up with the this 45 days system so hopefully uh, it will take some time but uh, in quarter 1 by the end of quarter 1 we'll see some relatively changed uh, system in msme as well so so i mean what kind of revenue spillovers can we expect in q1 uh, as compared to q1 last year Uh, as of now uh, it's kind of tough to uh, you know commit on any numbers but uh, as i said we we'll, we are hoping that we will close by uh, at least 7th year for the q1 sorry how, how much did you say 7 7th year all right so last year we did around 10th year in q1 so this year you're saying that we'll do 17th year yeah you can say that So, what is the current order book? You had mentioned that we had 60 crores worth of orders in the November con call. So, what is the current yeah. order book? See, uh, book has we have a uh, orders in hand, but all have been put on hold because most of the projects are on hold. But but we have order book of about 25 years with us. All right, and sir. Uh, What 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 is the guidance for FY twenty five in terms of top line and bottom line? Uh, our target is seventy uh, to seventy five CR. All oh, right. So one last question: Why are we uh, getting into uh, bathware business where whereas we have al- always been in the walls business? So I mean, what uh, what makes us not concentrate on our core business and make us diversify into something that? We do not specialize in. Now, uh, 
we were thinking of getting into the bus process in in last year, but we kept we kept it on hold because we wanted to concentrate on API range of all. Yeah, bus process is a you know premium segment and uh, it's something uh, that can add to the value of our own uh, brand. You know, uh, that's the only reason. But uh, as of now, uh, we are not uh, doing anything on those lines. All right. So my last question is, uh, we have an order book of 25 crores you you mentioned. So, I mean, yeah. what gives us the confidence this year that uh, we will achieve revenues of about 70 CR, CR with 20 to 25% EBITDA margins? I mean, where are we getting this confidence from? Because for the last two years, uh, the revenues have been stagnant. Uh, because uh, last year, we have introduced some more uh, team members in the sales. And we have started participating in the different, different uh, exhibitions. And uh, this year, we are expecting a good, good revenue from uh, those uh, lines as well. Like I said, plumbing and uh, other stuff. And with the API coming into the picture in next two months, definitely our uh, order book will increase and we'll be able to achieve this margin uh, revenue. All right. So thank you. That's all for my side. Thank you. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Keshav Gar from Counter Silicon PMS. Please go ahead. Sir, I'm trying to understand that, sir, what gives you confidence that, sir, we can increase our revenues 20-fold over the next five years? Sir, because the market surely will not be growing at the this kind of pace. Market will not go up 20 times in five years. Uh we are not into that market as of now because uh, uh, it's a big market as far as API range of walls are concerned with the oil and refineries. And once we have those API, we'll definitely, you know, uh, start manufacturing bigger range of walls. Like we are doing only up to 12 to 14 inches. We want to go up to 72 inches. So uh, that's the only reason. And we know that there's a big cushion and we can get into that space. So out of this, let's say thousand crore top line over the expected over the next five years. So, so what kind of uh, percentage is exports going to contribute broadly? Uh, at least fifty percent. Okay, sir. And uh, sir, to uh, reach this thousand crore top line, what kind of uh, cumulative capex will we need to incur? Uh. It will be around 40 CR in total for the machinery and the jigs and pictures and other stuff, yeah. Okay, sir. And sir, also, sir, regarding this faucet 4A, sir, we are a B2B company. Sir, so yeah. how we plan to get into the retail market, which will, uh, I mean, uh, uh, require brand building, marketing, muscle, and distribution, and so on, sir. So, which is not our core competence. Sir. So, I hope uh, it uh, this new division will not start incurring losses. No, no, we, that's why we have kept it on hold. We want to build a brand in the plumbing industry. That's why we have started getting into the plumbing uh, wall range. And once we have a brand there, then definitely, you know, that's the part of plumbing bathroom faucet. So we'll, we'll get an edge once we have, uh, you know, brand in that as well. Only then we'll enter into the market because we don't want to incur any loss on that. That's for sure. Sure, sir. And, sir, in this 1,000 uh, rupees top line, sir, what broadly uh, is the expectation of contribution from this faucet uh, division? As of now, nothing. We are only yes, talking sir, about industrial walls, API walls. So, no, sir, I'm saying, oh, okay, so so this 1,000 crore top line by 2030, we will be able to achieve this by walls business itself and faucet need not contribute anything in this 1,000 crore top line. Yes, 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 yes. We are not considering faucets in this. And sir, as the our scale of operation increases, sir, so uh, sir, uh, sir uh, our operating margin, uh, do you expect it to improve uh, from these levels? Yes, 
they will definitely improve because uh, you know once you get into the bigger range of uh, bigger sizes of walls because there are not many players and definitely uh, the margins are very good in those so that's why we want to get into those that market and uh, EBITDA and PAG will definitely increase there's no doubt in it so so like uh, so you were mentioning that due to this msme receivable issue uh our sales could not be booked otherwise we would have achieved 80 crore in this financial year itself so so in that yeah. case why is our guidance for the next financial year lower than what it was for this financial year because i mean if we have already if we have the orders and if we have uh, uh, i mean executed it and only the payment is pending so so then we should uh, be targeting 80 crore plus uh, revenues for fy25 but uh, as per your guidance we should be expecting 70 75 crore yeah i i'm just being you know uh, conservative in the figures because i don't want to overcommit on certain things so that's the only reason because this year we are out of uh, that uh, small medium uh, small and uh, micro segment so we will not be in the msme uh, law anymore so our clients and customers will be more uh, you know uh, uh, easily with uh, you know easily can do business with us because 45 days they have to pay to micro and small not to us because we will be in medium because we have exceeded 50 cr this year Sir, and uh, so what percentage roughly of our total business is coming from tender business? Uh, not the tender business. We are mostly into, you know, uh, direct client business and uh, distrib- dealer's network. So, so that means not, uh, that... doing anything in the tender as of now. Sir, so basically no PSUs, no L1 bidding and so on? No, nothing. Nothing of that part. So, but in oil and gas, uh, oil marketing companies are pretty big players. So, so, in future also, we have no plans to enter that market? See, to get into the oil and uh, refining business, we have to have API or EAL approvals. So, after that only, we'll be, we'll be able to participate in those standards. Right, sir. So that's all from my side. So thank you very much and best of luck. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Yashwanti from Kojin Finvesh. Please go ahead. Yeah, thanks. Uh, thanks once again for the opportunity. Uh, so uh, just wanted to know, like, as you said, that first you wanted to go in the faucet business and then again you kept it on a hold because you wanted to focus more on the API business. Uh, we wanted to start the manufacturing, but now we are considering as a trading business, uh, you know, uh, importing from China and then uh, first uh, uh, understanding and experiencing the market and then go for the manufacturing. So by when we can uh, see uh, our presence in the faucet business or the bathware business and when actually it will start contributing? Uh, for the faucet business, uh, we are... We are still uh, skeptical about it because we are not sure how uh, how much time we can give it to that business as of now because we want to concentrate more on API range of all. That's the only reason we wanted uh, we don't want to spend much on the capital investment and uh, we want to import and from China and see what the market trend is. But that has been kept on hold as well because we want to have our own brand in the plumbing industry. First, that's why we have uh, started uh, plumbing walls and participating in the uh, plumbing exhibition. So hopefully by the end of this year, we'll be able to know that uh, if we want to get into the faucet as of now or not. Maybe in the quarter four, we can take a decision. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's it for myself. And sir, any any client revision has been done in the last six months? Sorry? Any new client addition has been done in the last six months? Uh, for uh, this uh, industry? Wall business. Wall yeah. yeah, yeah. We have uh, a few clients. I can uh, 
I'll send the details to you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's it for my side. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Heath Javeri from Manibi. Please go ahead. Hi, I'm an Audi. Yes, sir, please go ahead. Yeah, so uh, my first question is, uh, we have been looking to get into the API, uh, the valves, and for that we are operating currently at 85% capacity. So in August or September when our license does come, how do we expect to manufacture for those uh, opportunities? No, we are uh, we are expanding and uh, we have uh, ordered some new machinery as well. So that capacity will go up, and we want to you know shift some of the existing products which are which can uh, give some space for the API range of wall to our uh, other units. So hopefully that. Uh, Production scale will go up, and we'll be able to meet that uh, API uh, requirement. Okay. Uh, what uh, capacity are we looking to add? Just a estimate. Uh, see, uh, to start with, we'll be uh, we'll be concentrating more on uh, small walls, but eventually we'll be able to uh, we'll be get we'll be getting into the bigger range of walls. For that, we'll be uh, having, we'll be requiring a, you know, new unit and uh, a total new infrastructure. For uh, current current uh, uh, infrastructure, that we can uh, accommodate uh, some of the API range of walls which are required to start the business. So we cannot uh, assess as of now what kind of number of pieces we'll be adding. But yes, we'll be adding more and more products, and uh, we'll try to compensate. API range of walls with the existing uh, range. Okay, okay. Uh, thank you. That's it, yeah. Master. Thank you. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Jignesh from Jiva Capital. Please go ahead. Yeah, am I audible? Yes, sir. Please go ahead. Yeah, sir. You mentioned that you have 25-hour so your audio is gone low, sir. Could you come a little closer to your speakerphone or use the answer, please? Yeah. yeah sir, you mentioned that uh, our order book is 25 crores and it is put on hold. Didn't get that. Uh, the order book? Yeah. Yeah, that has been. Yeah, some of the orders has been kept on hold uh, in the last quarter. So we okay. have just added those in the in this uh, order book, and uh, mm -hmm. some of the existing uh, orders and for the uh, you know existing range that keeps on uh, coming and going as per the dealers. Okay. No, so the order that have been put on hold is it because of the SME issue? Uh, that value is about. Uh, Five seven years, yeah, about seven years. Okay, okay. No, so the, the predominantly that was the issue, or anything else also? No, that was the only issue. The MSME. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, Otherwise, we could have touched uh, 60 years. Okay. Last and so you mentioned that uh, we uh, want our uh, ourselves to go to thousand crore sales. So. When we are growing in that path, so what will be our network like? The current distributors only will do, or uh, we will go for uh, big orders in government or uh, big corporates where we need to bid. So how yeah, yeah. are we planning for that? It has to be you know big companies, and uh, we cannot do that sales through dealers. That's for sure. Okay. It has to be uh, you know direct clients. Like okay. Adani Power, Reliance Energy, Alliance uh, Oil Refinery, then okay. we are expecting major growth in the export business. So we have to deal directly with the client. Okay, so you need to deal or maybe bid in case of governments to get orders. Yes. Okay, and so our predominantly in which sectors it is used oil and gas and which other sector? All these bigger ones? 
yeah it's mostly oil and gas okay so even in gas uh, suppose uh, i want to broadly understand like this uh, lng pipeline or maybe hydrogen pipeline that may come in future so yeah. would, uh, all this valves would be requiring that pipelines also yeah yeah wherever there is a pipeline you need valve to control that fluid okay. so a valve will be required in any kind of pipeline so this kind of bigger size of valves are predominantly used in that kind in pipelines yes okay okay, okay. understood thank you thank you thank you a reminder to all participants you may press star and 1 to ask a question the next question is from the line of kushi jain who is an investor please go ahead hi sir um, thank you for the opportunity most of my questions are answered i just wanted to ask uh, with our revenue targets for this year and the coming years are we still optimistic to achieve our capital crores for 2030 Yeah, target is the same. Thousand here. That's the uh, uh, you know we will start seeing the results. It's kind of uh, you know quite difficult to digest as of now because we are sitting at uh, 50, 52 CR and we are talking about thousand CR. But we know that market is there, and once we have that API, you will start seeing the changes in the revenues as well. Mm-hmm. Then the confidence will go up. Yeah, we 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 are targeting that. uh figure only okay sir thank you good to know all the best thank you thank you lot thank you ladies and gentlemen before we take the next question a reminder to all participants you may press star and 1 to ask a question the next question is from the line of mayank shah who is an investor please go ahead hello am i audible yes sir please go ahead uh my question is that as you are at 85% utilization and uh, as the cpi thing is coming in so have you planned any capex or something to move on uh, to match the capacity of the orders you will get in yeah hopefully we will be requiring uh, that capex in next year because uh, this year uh, will be uh, con- accommodating the existing uh, facility for the range of uh, walls we want to develop in api so next year definitely will be requiring uh, you know new plant for yeah so and uh, i also wanted to understand uh, is there a way that we can produce more number of units in a given year like uh, can the working capital can be changed or something how can we improve that because to reach above 80 crores is it possible with the current facility like to do a revenue a top line revenue of 80 crores to do more than that is it possible or not Yeah, yeah, it is very much possible. It is very much possible because we are utilizing our machinery or infrastructure in those walls which are not contributing much. So we can always change uh, those range with the new range, which can give us more revenues and uh, you know profitability. Because just to utilize the infrastructure and machinery, we have to have you know certain range of walls. So we can always uh, you know change those range with the uh profitable range in api okay thank you that's it from my side thank you thank you ladies and gentlemen that was the last question for the question and answer session i now hand the conference over to mr abhishek yadav from kiran advisors for closing comments thank you thank you everyone for joining the conference call of atom wealth limited If you have any queries you can write us at info@teenadvisors.com and once more many thanks to management team and participants for joining the conference call Thanks a lot thank you Thank you on behalf of Kiran Advisors that concludes this conference thank you for joining us and you may now disconnect your lines